I've hoped that I've helped, right? I helped you at least a little bit. Um, I am gonna finish off with uh, NH3 and then you will be responsible for the back. And again, don't forget the ball and stick model. So you're gonna draw exactly what you constructed <clears throat> on the, uh, what do you call it? What you have constructed on the, um, on uh, the molecular set. Whoa, and I had a brain for it. All right, <clears throat> so here again, we're gonna name it. They're all covalent. So this one, uh, with the exception of uh, beryllium. So any compound with beryllium will be ionic. So you just name it beryllium, whatever it is. Here we have a covalent compound. So we have only one, a one N, so that we're gonna name it as is. So it'll be nitrogen. Okay, so for that one, uh, we got that one down, so now we got to name the subscript, which is a three, so we have to find the prefix for three, which is tri. And then again, we have H here, which is hydrogen. But well, we're going to change the ending of hydrogen to hydride. So the name of this one will be nitrogen trihydride. It is commonly known as, most people know this one by this, ammonia. It is a gas, okay, a very toxic one at that. So, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the Lewis structure. We have to determine which one of these is a central atom. And if you notice, if you haven't noticed what we've been looking at, is we're looking at the one that has the least number of atoms. This one has one, this one has three. So therefore, we're going to use the N to be our middle atom, right, or central atom. So for nitrogen, nitrogen has five valence electrons. So we're going to draw them in. And there they are. Well, here, if you notice, we do have a lone pair of electrons. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to situate in space where these H's will go. And they will go where the lonely electrons are. We'll put one right there. We put the other one right there. And none right there. Now we have to draw the Lewis structure for hydrogen. The Lewis structure for hydrogen, or the only number of electrons that hydrogen have, has, I'm sorry, is one. So we put it as such. Now you connect the dots, and if you notice, we have a three-sided molecule again, right? Now, the only difference here from the previous one and this one is that we have a lone pair of electrons. Again, it has three vicinal atoms. The difference between this one and this one is that this one has a lone pair of electrons while boron doesn't. Because this one has a lone pair of electrons, it distorts the molecule, and it does not allow it to be flat. So therefore, this one is actually tri because it has three um, three bonds, trigonal. The only thing is that you're creating now a pyramid at the base. the The amount of degrees or the bond angle for this one will be one oh uh, one oh seven point five. Okay, and I hope this has helped. And if you need any more help, uh, uh, please, uh, please, please, please. Um, Wait for me on Tuesday and then I will help you guys a little bit further.